So on most of my wreaths, I have a removable sign. Um, I wanted to show how easy it is to remove the sign and add a new one back on. So on this one here, what I use is pipe cleaner. And so typically I will stuff the pipe cleaner in there and you're just going to take it here and unwind it. And then you'll do the same for the other side. And you're gonna just pull it right out. So here's your wreath without a sign. Um, you can also add different signs that I have available. such as a welcome. And I'm gonna show you um, right now how I do that. So when you purchase the sign, um, you can let me know if it's an extra sign, if you want me to put these pipe cleaners on the back um, to add to your sign, or to, excuse me, to your wreath. And so what I do is I just bend it in half, a pipe cleaner, and I'm using brown just because it matches the grapevine. And so you know where half the half is, and I staple it on. Except, did I get it stapled? <laughs> so that easy. It's nice and tight. And then I just do it on the other side. Okay, let me just adjust this so that you can see the wreath. So for this wreath, same thing, I'm just going to see where I want to put it on the wreath and I push through with the pipe cleaner, make it nice and tight on the back and twist it. So you're just going to twist it. Okay, sometimes um, after you do this one and then this one, you might want to tighten this one more or maybe both of them, but you just want to get it on the wreath first. See where you want it. I'm go this wreath is available and I'm actually going to make this welcome sign available on this wreath today as an option. So then you turn it around And you just make sure it's nice and tight. And then sometimes I cut these, but I like to just, uh, for all my customers, I like to just like tuck them in so it's easy for them to find and remove or change out the sign. So. Just that easy to remove and add a new sign.